Hello everyone, my name is Tahir Kapasi and I am the Education Manager for ACCA Middle East. Our Strategic Professional Exams are launching in September this year. We've all known about the Strategic Business Leader, also known as the SBL exams. Today, we are joined by Fazila Gopilani, the Head of Education for ACCA Middle East. We will be talking to Fazila to know more about the SBL exams. So Fazila, can you tell us a bit more about what the SBL exam is? So the SBL Strategic Business Leader is an innovative case study which integrates technical, ethical and professional skills that accountancy and finance experts of tomorrow need. So it is a strategic exam and am I right in thinking that this exam is going to be replacing the current P1 and P3 exams? Correct. So the strategic business leader is going to replace the current P1 and P3 exam. There will no longer be P1 and P3 exam available from September 2018 session. And how, how are these exams different from the existing P1 and P3? Are there any additional syllabus areas involved? So as for the syllabus areas for the strategic business leader, it will still cover the core areas of P1 and P3, such as governance, risk and strategy. However, it will then link this up to core leadership areas, such as innovation, organizational control, change management, data analytics and using technologies. We have also heard about professional marks being involved. Can you tell us how many professional marks are there and what are these being given for? So there are 20 professional marks available in Strategic Business Leader case study paper. And these marks are given to students who are able to demonstrate that they are able to communicate effectively, analyze, evaluate, use commercial acumen and skepticism in their answers. These are very important skills that are wanted by employers in the workplace and it will add value to an individual and therefore they are going to be examined in the strategic business leader paper. I completely agree and the strategic business leader is definitely the way forward for uh, our students to develop their professional skills. Any final recommendation for our students that are going to be appearing for this, these exams in September and the upcoming sessions? Well, the exam is four hours long. It's not pre-seen, so the student will see all the material on the day of the exam. There is a lot of material available, such as exhibits, newspaper articles, you know, some CVs that might be attached for review and there are different tasks that the student has to demonstrate that they are able to do with mixing their knowledge and the professional skills together. I would personally recommend that a student goes for classes and attends a learning provider, an approved learning provider in the city that they live in. If there are strategic learning partners, they need to go and attend classes. This is because their tutors have been trained by ACCA. They are going to be using different teaching methodologies in the classroom, such as role play, such as getting in guest speakers. It is very important to ensure a student's success at this paper that they do go to a learning provider. Well, all of this sounds really interesting and I'm sure our students will appreciate the fact that they are getting the, the, the opportunity to be able to equip themselves with the right blend of skills. Thank you so much Fazila for sharing your thoughts and giving us insights on the strategic business leader.